Hi everyone, this is Maths for Uni. This is the worked solution to question 1A from MAT 2019. If you enjoy this content, then please consider liking the video and subscribing for more. The question says, the equation x cubed minus 300x equals 3000 has a no real solutions, b exactly one real solution, c exactly two real solutions, d exactly three real solutions, and e infinitely many real solutions. So if we take a look at our equation, which is x cubed minus 300x equals 3000, then we notice that we have a cubic equation. And so if we were to rearrange and get the constant on the left hand side, we would have x cubed minus 300x minus 3000 equals zero. And we could write this cubic polynomial here as f of x. So we're looking for the roots of f of x. In general, if we take some cubic, and we know in this case that we have a positive cubic because our coefficient of x cubed is positive, i.e. one in this case, then we could draw some characteristic graphs of what the situation could look like. This cubic might look something like the following. In this situation, there would be three real roots, but it could also look like the following, where we have it going through one real root, coming back down and then bouncing off of the x-axis, giving us two real roots. And then lastly, we could have a situation where we just have one real root like this, say. So that tells us immediately that we can discount A and E from being possible answers to this question because there could not be no real solutions and there can't be infinitely many real solutions. So now in order to differentiate between the different cases B, C and D, we need to do some actual calculations based on the form of our f of x. So remember we have f of x is equal to x cubed minus 300x minus 3000. And if this were a quadratic, we might look at the discriminant of the quadratic in order to determine the number of roots. However, this is a cubic, and so we need a more sophisticated method. For cubics, it often helps to locate the turning points because then we can look at how the graph turns and this can tell us how many roots the equation has. So if we determine f prime of x, this will be 3x squared minus 300. And we can factorize this as three lots of x minus 10 times x plus 10. So if we're looking for the turning points, we want f prime equals zero. And so we have x equals 10 or x equals minus 10 for the turning points. Then we should find the corresponding f values for these turning points. So if we have f of 10, for example, then this would be 10 cubed, and then we have minus 300, lots of 10, minus 3,000. This is 1,000 minus 6,000, and so certainly it's negative, but in particular, minus 5,000, and indeed negative. Then if we look at f of minus 10, this would be minus 10 all cubed, so minus 1,000, and then minus 300 times minus 10, and then minus 3,000. This takes the value minus 1,000, which is also negative. Now that we have this information, 
we can start to draw what this function f of x looks like. So if we first draw our axes, we have our x and our f of x. We know that our turning points are at minus 10 and 10 in the x values. And we know that it happens at minus 1000 for minus 10 and minus 5000 for 10. And so it will look something like this. Where here we have minus 10 and minus 1000. Down here at 10, we have minus 5000. And we've also used that the y intercept is minus 3000, which is down somewhere in between. Therefore, in particular, we can see that this cubic must have only one real root, which is here. We know this because the turning point that happens at minus 10 occurs at a y value that is underneath the x axis. And we could also say that the root happens after the value x equals 10, because at x equals 10, we have this turning point way below the x axis. So therefore, to finish, our final answer is B, which is exactly one real solution. If you found this content useful, then please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.